All right, Nick, let's talk about the Cincinnati Bengals. Exciting offseason for the Bengals. I'm sure everyone is ready to see Joe Burrow in this new offense, this new defense's team as a whole get out on the field and really start to show their stuff. But there's one guy in particular, a new free agent to this team that everybody is already talking about. Everyone has really great things to say about. So let's get into the article, and then we'll talk more about this on the other side. This article is from over on Bengals Wire. It says, Bengals defenders like Mike Hilton have certainly seen the difference in the offense already or an even are impressed with Jacecki talking about Mike Jacecki, free agent tight end who came over to the Bengals this offseason. It says, we see a lot of 12 today, Hilton said, according to Geoff Hobson of Bengals.com. I think they'll mix it up a lot. Jacecki, that's a big slot receiver. So you'll get that 11 look. We know he can play on the line, but when he... When he makes his money, he's split out getting those matchups. Obviously, he's a big receiver. He's not really a burner, but he's really savvy in his routes. His length is a problem. I feel he fits in perfectly. And again, this is from over on Bengals Wire. Nick, I think this is perfect. I think the Bengals have really needed this type of guy. You remember the old Bengals. You remember like the Tyler Eiferts of the world who came out and really did some good stuff at the tight end position. Joe Burrow really needs that really great pass-catching tight end, and I think Mike Jacecki could be just the guy he needed. Curious what your thoughts are. Before we get to you, Nick, Bengals fans, in the comments section below, let us know who's your favorite Bengals tight end of all time. There's a couple of names bouncing around my head that I think are very prominent, but let us know who's your favorite Bengals tight end of all time in the comment section below. And while you're down there, check out the description below the video to get our list of some of our favorite NFL books, whether it's autobiographies of coaches, whether it's books that explain the game of football, really break it down. Check those books out under the description below the video if you want to be the smartest guy in the comment section. But Nick, what are your thoughts on the news about Jacecki? So I think it's a great sign because if you look at the Bengals offense ever since Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase kind of took hold of this Bengals offense, the Bengals really took the NFL world by storm. It's been Burrow, it's been running backs, and it's been receivers, whether they be outside or slot guys. But the tight end position has been lacking in terms of creating a big play threat, a weapon to create problems for the defense. But Jacecki is obviously solving that problem for Cincinnati. We've got a number of great reports. The first article is great. Let's go into our second one here. This is a tweet courtesy of 32 Beat Riders. Uh... This is from that tweet. The shift of versatility and an unpredictable usage was a recurring theme in every position group. All receivers worked inside and outside, and tight end Mike Jacecki shifted all around the line of scrimmage, and the running backs were far more active in the passing game. That's talking about the new Bengals offense. So we're seeing Mike Jacecki there singled out for being used a lot of different ways, being put in a lot of different positions. That's been missing from this Bengals offense. And just to drive this point a little bit further about how impactful Jacecki will be, Joe Burrow has been putting a lot of additional time with Jacecki. This was reported a number of weeks ago. This is with Tweet. If you want to go ahead and throw this one up as well, Mize. This is from uh, Joe Danaman saying, Joe Burrow is working a lot with Mike Jacecki between reps a lot. At times, it is literally walking him through his breaks step by step. Joe Burrow would not do that unless he and the entire offensive coaching staff and the entire team expects Jacecki to have a massive impact. And I think this is a great sign for Cincinnati. I think the Bengals, if you're looking for historical comparison, they remind me of the early to mid 2000s Indianapolis Colts. You talk about great young quarterback, Peyton Manning. You talk about great outside receivers, Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne. The one thing the Colts had to add to push them over the top was Dallas Clark, a sort of receiving threat only tight end who was a tight end kind of in name only who could do a lot of different things in the passing game. He gave the Colts a key weapon. In fact, it was Dallas Clark's performance that finally allowed those Colts team to beat those Bill Belichick Patriots teams in the playoffs. I think Jacecki has the ability to be that for the Cincinnati Bengals, to be that final incremental weapon that pushes this team over the threshold to finally get the much awaited for Super Bowl title. Yeah, Nick, and I think when we talk about what this Bengals team is capable of, it wouldn't have been possible if the Bengals didn't go out and really hit home some key free agent positions. You really need a guy who's a great blocker as a tight end. And, you know, that's really not just Seki's game, but that is true unless you go out and really bolster your offensive line. And that's what the Bengals have done. 
with all of the additions to their offensive line, I think this is a much stouter unit than it has been in the past. They've really spent a lot of time working on this offensive line, so now they can utilize an extra guy on the field like Jacecki more as a receiver. So I think this is going to be a really great fit for the Bengals. I love Joe Burrow's already talking about this guy. And I love that they are really seeming that they are switching everyone up all different positions. Anyone on the field for the Bengals that is a skill position player seems like they are able to catch the ball in some way, shape, or form. And I think we're going to have a very exciting offense on our hands due just to the sheer volume of players who are now becoming playmakers for the Bengals.